Hi Bulldogs, Chris Bryant here and today I got a CCNP route and tissue video practice exam for you. A little this and that exam on IP version 6 do's and don'ts and you thought you left all those behind with version 4, right? Well, version 6, uh, I know it's intimidating when you first start working with it and the most intimidating thing I think is just the sheer length of that address you got to deal with, right? Because it's just a little bit longer than 4 octets. And one thing we're very interested in doing and a skill that we have to have in order to get our CCNP is to be able to identify illegal addresses and to take uh, one given address and express it as concisely as we can. And we've got two tools that let us do that, zero compression and leading zero compression. We've got to know how to use each one of those and when we can't use them. So on that subject, which of these are tip-offs that you're looking at an illegal IP version 6 address. Because if I were shown writing your practice exam, like I did here, or writing the real exam, I might show you a list of addresses and say which of these are legal, which ones are illegal. And there are some quick ways you can tell immediately that you're looking at an illegal address. If you want to take a moment to think about it, please pause the video because we're going to head right into the answers. Uh, four consecutive colons, that can't happen, period. It can't happen once and it can't happen at multiple points because when we're working with zero compression, it's a very powerful tool and when we use zero compression, we're actually going to see two colons at one point in the address. And you really got to be careful with that when you're taking the exam or working with this in a lab or a production network. It's really easy to gloss over two colons in an address when you're used to seeing one. So be careful with that. Uh, but you can only use it one time. So four consecutive colons, again, whether they appeared once in the address or at multiple points, that's the illegal period. You can't do it. So that kind of narrows it down here to B and D. Now the first choice there that's left over, two consecutive colons appearing once, that is perfectly legal. So that would be fine. As a matter of fact, that's the only one of these that's, that is legal because two consecutive colons at multiple points in the same address indicates that zero compression has been used more than once and you cannot do that. So as far as illegal addresses, four colons appearing once, four colons at multiple points in the address, and two consecutive colons at multiple points in the address are all illegal. Definitely something you want to watch out for on exam day. Thanks so much for taking today's video practice exam. I hope you'll join us out on Twitter, YouTube, my blog, and on our Facebook page. And we've got plenty of free books coming for the NA, the NP, and some other certifications as well. And we're growing by leaps and bounds here at TBA, and it's all thanks to you. Thanks again. I'm Chris Bryan, and thanks for making TBA part of your Cisco Certification Success Story.